Hi, Jonathan here. How are you doing? Sorry for the delay updates. We'll work on the new episode sooner in the future. We'll try hard to do that. Today, we will talk about the material is relatively new development in the rubber history, HMBR, hydrogenated nitrile butadiene rubber, or highly saturated nitrile HSN. Yes, you notice the naming contains a nitrile rubber. HMBR is an enhanced version of nitrile rubber, actually. Let's dive deeper in this episode. Let's start from the history. HMBR original invention can be traced back to 1975 from Bayer and Zion Chemical. We have talked about nitrile rubber was invented by Bayer in 1937. The enhanced nitrile rubber technology took almost 40 years to be invented. It is because of HMBR's market positioning. There are many superior synthetic rubber developed after in the invention of nitrile rubber, such as fluorosilicone, Phyton FKM in the 50s. However, their cost is much higher than nitrile rubber, almost 10 times of nitrile rubber. Under these circumstances, engineers start to develop cost-effective, but with similar chemical and physical property. Then, they realize that nitrile rubber has some unsaturated bond in its backbone. To reduce the amount of unsaturated bond, can increase the life and thermal stability. Thus, they create a process called hydrogenation of polymer in 1975, which is patented by Bayer. In 1986, Bayer commercialized HMBR in the trademark of their band. Then Bayer divided performance polymer business division into Lanxus. In April 2016, Alexia was founded in a joint venture of Lanxus and Saudi Aramco. The latest news in January 2019, Saudi Aramco used $1.6 billion acquired 50% of the structure to fully own Alexia. Besides Alexia's third band, other chemical companies produce HMBR such as the Young Chemicals, Depto. About synthesis of the HMBR, we should start from the nitro rubber synthesis. The chemical structure of MBR polymer is shown here. To understand the resultant property of HMBR, it is necessary to recognize there are two types of butadiene addition in the formation of MBR polymer. There are generally two types of butadiene addition to the free radical polymerization process. First, the 1-4 position, which is the majority of a butadiene. Some of the 1-2 position, which is for the pattern carbon-carbon double bonds. The 1-2 butadiene incorporate produce a vinyl type structure, which is particularly reactive in the subsequent vulcanization reaction, or we call it curing. So it's a curing site. The subsequent formation of hydrogenated nitrile HMBR is here. The resultant polymer is really a tetrapolymer of aquinitrile. Ethylene was formed from hydrogenation of 1,4 butadiene segment. Propylene formed by the hydrogenation of 1,2 butadiene segment. And the butadiene. The HMBR designation was later adopted as standard. Generally, there are still has unsaturation remains from the catalytic hydrogenation reaction to provide the sites for cross-linking. However, the remaining unsaturation in the HMBR material is much lower compared to nitrile rubber. The catalytic hydrogenation reactions can, does not affect the carbon-nitrogen triple bonds of the acrynitrile group. Yeah, I guess many of you might fall asleep. If we simplify the process, it is basically take nitrile butadiene polymer mixed with high-pressure hydrogen and some metal catalysis. It will reduce the unsaturated bonds and not affect carbon nitrogen triple bonds. So the ACN content will not be changed. As a result, improve heat, resistance, and physical property for HMBR material make it a viable polymer product in the market. We will discuss it right now. There are a couple features to use in HMBR. Chemical resistance, particularly oil resistance, HMBR inherent acrynitrile groups from MBR, so it still have a similar grade resistance to oil. Second, enhanced surface temperature over nitrile. 
Typically, nitro service temperature is lower than 100 degrees Celsius. HMBR reduces the unsaturated bond that can sustain operate around 150 degrees Celsius. Third, good mechanical property. HMBR has a better abrasion and tear resistance than MBR. The rubber wear and tear right now is not a particularly clear term to define this polymer property. The research behind abrasion and tear is still an ongoing process. This is only a relative test. HMBR has significant abrasion resistance over other material, and the overall toughness is much better than the other material as well, such as AEM and ACM. About AEM and ACM, we will use other videos to introduce them. Fourth, lower cost. The cost of HMBR is higher than nitrile for sure due to the extra process. Compared to FKM, Viton, HMBR with so many great features, but about half the price of FKM. We won't cover too much of our formulation and compounding today. Please leave comments below if you want to hear more about that. Lastly, we would like to talk about the real application, where to use HMBR. We will talk about a couple important industries to use HMBR. Let's start from the oil and gas industry. In oil drill bed, it requires a material resist to temperature of 150 degrees Celsius and high pressure differential up to 10,000 psi with crude oil, natural gases, hydrogen sulfide resistance. Even with tight control of O-ring gland extrusion gap, a 90 sure A material is required. The combination of resistance to temperature, resistance to crude oil, resistance to pressure, and the good retention of modulus at high temperature make HMBR the good choice for this application. Of course, also cost effective. HMBR is using oil fuel, high pressure wheel packer, high temperature oil cooler, O ring. Quick plug we also offer NOSOC 710 certified HMBR, FKM, and FFKMs. We will cover RGD, rapid gas decompression, in the future episode. Secondly, automotive industry and HVAC. HMBR show excellent resistance to R134A refrigerant and the polyalkylene glycol PAG lubricant using with these refrigerant. As the engine compartment temperature have increased, in the old day people was using neoprene polymer. Neoprene was not be able to service up to 125 degrees Celsius continuously and 150 degrees Celsius spike. The green color also easily to track the change of assembly, warranty claims, and aftermarket parts supply. Moreover, there is a need for excellent low temperature flexibility to prevent refrigerant leakage in the winter. Other places use HMBR such as power steering pump, power steering hoses, it also been used in many other industrial applications. We won't be able to cover all of them today. All right, we covered the synthesis of HMBR, physical feature of HMBR and its application today. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please click the like button and smash the subscribe button to support us. We will keep updating our content. Click the bell icon so you won't miss any update. Leave comment below if you have any suggestions and questions. We'll see you in the next episode.